Well, I'm back here in the overgrown bone yard. I got to clean up some back here. It's getting a little overgrown in the briars and bushes. But uh, there's a 500 gallon fuel tank back here. We haven't used it in a couple years since we've gotten 1,000 gallon tanks. But I'm going to drag this thing out of the weeds as fuel prices are starting to go back up. I was able to. Off road was a dollar twenty nine. It's been jumping up, and now it's a dollar fifty nine. So it's already gone up thirty cents. So that's a uh, thirty dollars a hundred gallons that it's already costed me. So uh, I'm going to um, if I fill that up, that would a uh, that's an extra hundred and fifty bucks. I pretty much have to pay to fill that up. So while prices are still uh, down, I'm going to drag this out of the weeds and drain it out in case it's got any condensation condensation in it shouldn't have anything as it's all sealed up but i'm going to pull that drain valve out it should be empty anyways and even if there is any trash in there let it run out and uh put it on the trailer and go get some fuel it's got lifting hooks welded on here so i can uh unload it once i get it here and just have it back here that way when I get some projects, which I got plenty for this whole thing to do, I'll uh, I'll have fuel here on hand and don't have to keep going to the gas station every evening filling up. Let's see if I can get this thing drug out of the weeds here. There's my old stumper. One day I'll have a machine that's got a uh, hook on the back of the bucket. But today's not that day and this is gonna work. It only weighs like three or 400 pounds. Eh, maybe 500 with my beams Fun will pick it up though. If it can rip trees down, it can hold it up. So, got it caddy cornered, should pick it up and I'm gonna sit it out here and angle it down so I can take that valve out. Hopefully sit it up high enough where I can put a bucket under it. If anything comes out, drain it out. Let's see how well this is going to work. I don't have my GoPro, so I'm going to hold the camera. Eh, pretty good. I'm sitting up on some mats. There we go. Tilt down. Probably going to have to get a new hose for that. It's seen better days. It's a little dry rotted on the end. I think I can sit it right here on that mat and let it taper down. Like so. Actually, I'm gonna pick it up and uh, put a couple blocks of wood under the other end. That way it'll tilt down a little bit more. That should do it. I don't even hear anything sloshing around, so hopefully it's empty. Find out here in a minute. Here goes nothing. This one had on-road fuel in it, so it should be, shouldn't be red. That looks like a little rust. I don't know what it smells like diesel fuel. It's a little discolored though. I'm gonna drain it out real good though. Well, I got everything that would drain out out of it. And uh, I think we had off-road in there. That's why it's red. But, um, hell, I can't remember. It's been so long. But uh, I got that drained out. I'm going to, uh, I took that uh, fill cap. It had one of those automatic sensors so the fuel company could tell it. But I'm going to take this T off and screw this back in there and do away with that. And the next thing I'll do is pull the 
side by side up here and make sure this pump still works because uh doesn't do no good to uh fill it up with fuel if you can't pump it out i think my hose is going to need to be replaced always something to do fixing leaks well there's the control valve the back of the truck well it's spacious in here now when you take out half the uh hoses and valves and everything i'm glad he remembers where everything goes <laughs> Oh, it's in the back of the truck. He's going to take it home and reseal it. Bring it back tomorrow. Hopefully, and get it put back in. Hopefully, that'll take care of the the control valve was leaking where it was put together. There's a seam, two parts, and it needed to be resealed. So, hopefully, that'll take care of that was the last leak left on this thing. Now would be the time to wash that out, wouldn't it? Just can't move the machine. Alrighty. Well, hopefully we'll get it back together tomorrow. So this might get a little interesting. I got the tank cleaned out and everything. Now I'm going to load it up on the trailer. The excavators broke down, so I got to use the back. It's not going to be a problem to get it on there empty. It's when I get it full with 500 gallons, eight pounds a gallon. What's that? Four, 4,000 pounds yeah plus the weight of the tank and the skid maybe another 500 pounds 4500 pounds yeah might be skidding it off the trailer All right, she's all full. Filled up that and the tank in the truck. You got about 550 gallons. I didn't quite fill it all the way up. I wanted to. I want to max it out on the first tank here. 
Oh, I had it, we have filled it up one time too full and when the sun got it, it expanded and it squirted all out the top there. So now I got to figure out how to get this thing off with the back. So I think I can slide the ramps together and no, it's not going to be, yeah, that's going to be tricky. Figure that out here in a minute. So before I get too carried away, I'm going to actually just see if the backhoe will pick this up. I don't think it will. I think it's more than the loader will pick up. But I got the four-way chains hooked to it, and I'm going to hook it to the loader bucket. And if I just hope it'll get it up enough where I can just pull the trailer out from under it and just lower it down. So let me bring the backhoe over here and see if that will pick it up. Well, let's see what's going to happen. I got it hooked up as tight as I can. Those chains are heavy. Let's just see if it's got enough lift. I don't know. Well, it will pick up a 500 gallon tank that is uh, got 450 some gallons in it. I want to get this a little closer to the ground to feel safer before I rant around too much. All right, so now if it falls, it's not going to uh, flip over. I'm going to move this over here to where I want it, I think. The backhoe does not have a whole lot of weight on the back end. I gotta let the let me let the backhoe down a little bit. Get a little more weight. Just trying to spin. This thing's got a little bit of a problem with it where it won't instantly go into four-wheel drive. You got to use it a minute. Yep, my back tires are spinning now. We'll extend the counterweight on out a little bit. Give me a little more traction. I want to put it right over there beside the motor grater. I actually need it spun around the other way though. I wasn't paying attention on that one now, was I? Well darn. Well, I'll sit it there and I can move it around later. Want to get the excavator fixed? I can, I'll leave these chains hooked to it and I can just pick it up and spin it 180. I just want to get it out of the way for right now. Well, I feel better about that. That went a little better than probably dragging it off the dovetail of the trailer with, because it would have fell down in between the ramps and that could have been a big problem. So let's set this down right here. And back up a little bit so I can let down and be able to take the chain off. And I'm done for today. 